video, I'll show you how Boost AI search and discovery seamlessly integrates with Shopify to enhance your overall customer experience. From selecting the perfect website theme and template to enabling the Boost Core app embed and adding powerful features like the instant search and filters, we'll guide you through the entire process of setting up the integration. Let's take a look at how you can leverage the Boost AI search tool within Shopify thanks to our user-friendly integration today. If you head to the dashboard in the Boost AI homepage to navigate to the integration, you want to head to this top bar and scroll all the way along to the right hand side. Under the integrations tab, you will find the Shopify integration. Click through to this page and this is where you can set up the integration. It is worth noting as well before we start this video, we do have a user guide which you can click and follow through step by step as well. Alternatively, you can watch this video and follow along in real time. So first things first, you're going to want to select the theme that you want to manage so you can choose from any of the different themes. You'll also see your current live stream theme through this helpful toggle. Today, I'll show you an unpublished theme that we've got, which is Dawn, just for an example purpose. And then you can see we've got a three step process for you to ensure that the Shopify integration is set up correctly. So first things first, we want to select the template now. It is worth mentioning that this template will determine how your widgets are going to appear on your storefront. So make sure that you select a template that you have been working on and customized and edited to your liking. You can choose uh, templates that you've created in the past. Alternatively, we have two ready-made templates that you can display your widgets on. You can view them here through this nice link. And you can also manage the templates here through this helpful button as well. Just to mention, we do have more templates that are going to be added in the future. So keep your eye out for them. But yeah, you've got the option of using our pre-ready-made templates for you to customize, or you can use templates that have been added by you. Once you've chosen a specific template, click confirm and it will take you to the next step of setting up the integration. It just kind of previews what theme that you've got set up the template id as well which have we have a copy option so make sure you copy that just in case and then moving on next we've got the enable boost core step now this is crucial as this will allow your widgets to be visible on your storefront and this only happens when the Boost Core new app embed is enabled. So you can activate this manually using the following steps by copying that code that we had previously in the last step. And it's available here as well. Or you can simply just click enable here and it will take you to your Shopify page here. Have a look at the app embeds and it has enabled it here for you with the template ID. But if you want to do it manually, it is exactly the same process. You just toggle on that button and then you head and paste the template ID that you want to have. So here is where the widgets will be live on the Boost Core new app embed. So once that you have enabled this, you want to make sure that it is added correctly. So once you've added this, should auto save as well, we'll click command S to make sure. We'll head back to the Boost dashboard. And also just remember that there is a manual setup here as well when going in Shopify, it showcases how to do it. But we recommend doing the clicking the enable button as it simply copies the code for you and toggles on the button. So it is as simple as that. Next step, so this is setting up the widgets. Now, these are the widgets that you have created within the Boost app and how you can display these on your storefront. We do again have a guide that you can follow to add your widgets to your theme to ensure that your features are more visible through the use of our widgets. So let's have a look at what we've got. You can also click add to make sure the widget is added. It'll come up with a little pop-up to show you that the widget has been added successfully. And then it also has a little outline that details that the filter is installed on the specific page. So in this case, as we know, it's the collection page. That's what we have added. Also, you can adjust the filter settings through the filter menu and customize the appearance with our editor. So from this pop-up, you can navigate directly to the theme editor and or you can customize here as well. So if we hit customize, this will take us to the home page for the collection page on where you want to edit and add your widgets to. So here, as you can see, we've got the collection page with, with filters, which is what we have chosen to add to our Shopify integration. And you can just amend this to make this as on brand as possible with 
text colors, setting colors, and you can just view this in desktop view, mobile view, etc. just to make sure that it is optimized to suit your store. So heading back, once you have added your widgets and you've customized this to your brand as possible, a widget should be added. Also, you can enable a widget as well. So once you've kind of added it, it will also allow you to enable a widget if it is simply just a toggle on toggle off button. Um, and you can preview this again on your storefront as well. So this is for the instant search widget. Click preview and it should show you an example of what this is going to look like. Okay, so once that is done, you can click finish and it will showcase an overview of one, the widget template and current template that you have added, the widgets that you've also added and that they will display on your store thanks to the Shopify integration. And also at the bottom here, we have some guides and documents to help you further if you have any problems in setting up your widgets or if you want to remove any widgets from your theme and just going over the templates and widgets in general. So that in a quick overview is how to set up the Shopify integration within the dashboard. It is a simple three-step process. If you have any questions regarding anything mentioned in this video, please don't hesitate to ask as we'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.